welcome to the session 3 of CO1 of uh, the subject signals and communication systems. The aim of this session is to introduce sinusoidal and complex exponential signals and also perform some problem solving. At the end of this session, the learning outcomes are you should be able to understand sinusoidal and complex exponential signals. You should be able to analyze the waveforms of sinusoidal signals. Now we are going to discuss continuous time sinusoidal signal. The sinusoidal signals are periodic signals which are functions of either sine or cosine function as given by a cos omega naught t plus phi here, the omega naught is the angular frequency, t is the continuous time, and we can write omega naught is equal to 2 pi f naught, where f naught is the frequency. And we know the frequency f naught is equal to the reciprocal of the time period t naught. In the diagram, we can note down the time period t naught as the distance between two peaks of the cosine waveform. Now we are going to discuss the second topic which is discrete time sinusoidal sequence. The discrete time sinusoidal sequence is given by the formula x of n is equal to a into sine omega naught n plus theta. Here n is the discrete time, omega naught is the discrete angular frequency and we can write omega naught is equal to 2 pi f naught where f naught is the discrete frequency and here the time period is the number of samples which is n naught and f naught is equal to 1 by n naught. You can see the shape of a discrete sinusoid signal in the graph. Now the third topic is continuous time real exponential signal. This is given by the formula a into e power alpha t. Since it is involving the exponential number e, this is called an exponential signal. If the exponential factor alpha is equal to 0, we get a constant signal like a DC voltage, which will be that factor A, which is shown in the first figure. Now, if the exponential factor alpha is greater than 0, we get a growing exponential as shown in the second graph. If the exponential factor alpha is less than 0, we get a decaying exponential as shown in the third graph. Now we will discuss the fourth topic which is continuous time complex exponential signal. This is given by the formula A into e power alpha plus j omega naught t as you can see from the first equation and we can simplify this using the Euler's formula e power j omega naught t is cos omega naught t plus j sin omega naught t and the complex exponential signal can be simplified as a into e power alpha t multiplied by cos omega naught t plus j sin omega naught t. In this figure, we are showing the graphs for the complex exponential signal. You can see in the first graph, we are getting a decaying exponential multiplied by the sinusoid. So this is a damped sinusoid. And in the second graph, you can see 
a growing exponential which is multiplying the sinusoid so this is a growing sinusoid now we are going to discuss the fifth topic today which is discrete time real exponential sequence which can be written as alpha to the power n here n is the discrete time variable now we can see four different scenarios in the four different graphs that are shown on this slide so if alpha is between 0 and 1 we are getting a decaying exponential if alpha is greater than 1 we are getting a growing exponential and if alpha is between minus 1 and 0 we can see a decaying exponential which is alternating in positive and negative sign similarly if we are having the final case where alpha is less than minus 1 we are getting a growing exponential with alternating positive and negative sign now we are going to discuss the sixth topic which is discrete time complex exponential sequence this is given by the formula a alpha to the power n multiplied by cos omega naught n plus j sin omega naught n as shown in the formula here n is the discrete time variable and alpha is the exponential factor which will multiply the sinusoidal signals so in the figure a we can observe that when alpha is greater than 1 we are getting a growing sinusoid and in figure b we can observe when alpha is less than 1 we are getting a decaying sinusoid I want to thank all the students for your patient hearing.